Hey guys, I'm Mariam and this is my first video on YouTube. If you like it, then subscribe and press the bell icon to get the newest updates first. Now let's go! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a farmer who had three pets, a cow, a donkey, and a lamb. The farmer loved the lamb the most and didn't care much about the donkey in here. At least that was what the donkey and the cow said. One day, this, they decided to get rid of the lamb. Hey, I think it's way too much. Our owner, our master loves the lamb a lot. Yes, cow, he never even looks at us. He's always with the lamb. Lamb is here, he is also here. Lamb is there, he's also there. Oh, hey, maybe we should sell her. That's a great idea, donkey. But who do we sell her to? I know a man. He lives a bit over down, a bit far away, but we can get to him. Only if the farmer leaves the lamb alone, that is. Hey, hey, I know. He is going out tomorrow. Then we'll sell the lamb. That's a great idea, Kale. Let's work on it. But in our shed, okay? We went to the shed for more planning. If anything went wrong. Then the, then the farmer went to his room for some work. And the lamb went to her shed to play over there. Or just eat. Or sleep. Then... Tomorrow, the donkey and the cow got up very early for some reason. They were waiting for the master. Then the front master finally came and said, Listen, cow, listen, donkey, I'm going out, so take care of the land. And feed her on time and play with her. Okay? She mustn't feel alone. I'm leaving. Saying that, the farmer left out of town. Then, the donkey said, I'm going straight to the man. Till then, if, she, if the lamb wakes up, it's okay. If he doesn't, that's great. Saying that the donkey left. Sometime later, the lamb got up. And the cow had to look over lamb. She used to go in circles to block her way. Finally, the donkey came. Hey, the man is coming. Soon after, the man came. Hello, where's my lamb? The donkey pointed at the lamb. Hello, sir. Your lamb is there. Then, even the lamb, when the lamb saw him, she was terrified. He started to run. Ah, who is this stranger? I don't want to go with him. Donkey, cow, help me. But the donkey said... Don't worry, lamb. He'll take you to our master. To our master? Then the, the, then the ma lamb went merrily with the man. So the man left. They both started to jump and sing and whatnot. They were just very happy. The next day, the farmer came back. Donkey, lamb. Donkey Kale, where's the lamb? We don't know. She was with you, but we didn't have her. What? I left her to you. You were up in the morning and then I talked to you, right? You never did. We were, we were just sleeping all the time. We never get up early, you know. Even now we were going to sleep, but then you came. But, but I don't even have her. We don't know. Maybe she just followed you. She was sleeping in the shed, and now we are going to sleep in the shed. They just left and went back. The sad farmer looked all around, but he couldn't find Lambie. Sad and disheartened, he went back to his room. Sometime, some weeks passed. But the farmer still missed the lamb. And the donkey and the cow, they didn't even care about him. 
They just ask him food, shelter, water, and that was enough. That made the farmer miss the lamb even more. One day, a man came to their fields, and he said, "Hi, can I have? Can I meet donkey and lamb?" Huh? Who is that cow? The donkey sneaked a peek beh from behind his nest and cow. It's the same. And we sold the lamb. So what do we do? What do we do? Let's go hide in our sheds. They went to hide. Meanwhile, hi. Can I meet donkey and lamb? I mean donkey and cow, which sold me a lamb. What donkey and cow? I only have my pet's donkey and cow. Are they the ones? Um, I don't know for sure. It's just a gray donkey and a cow. Maybe if you let me see them, I'll recognize. By the way, how does the lamb look, you new man? Never seen you around. Are you new? No, I just live uh, nearby. And the lamb is uh, a white one with lots of wool. And she eats carrots and grass. Which is pretty unusual. And she has a silver bell. Which has her name written on it. Lambie. Huh? That's my lamb. How did you get her? I already told you. A donkey and a cow. They sold me the lamb. Wait a second. Donkey, Gail, come out. Huh? Yes, mister? Are they the ones? The exact ones. They are the ones who called me here. Donkey? Cow? What did you just do? Uh, nothing? Shut up. You sold my lamb. I'm going to punish you. You are not staying here anymore. And you're going to the zoo. What? What? They don't keep donkeys and cows in. They don't, but I'll pay them extra if they keep it. Now get out of here. He first throwed the donkey out and then the cow. Oh, not that way. The other way so they could never meet. Then he talked to the man. The man went back to his home. Sometime returned and... Master! Libby! But she was yours, right? She wasn't. She was yours. I just bought her, but she was actually yours. The farmer thanked the man, and they both became friends. The man would visit every day, and day three lived a happy life. Even the farmer would go to his place. Sometimes. As for the donkey and the cow, well, maybe they learned their lesson after. No zoo, but they were in the middle of a deep forest. The end. Yeehaw.